Hey everybody, and welcome back to Drew's Vids, and this is part three of the collection tour. So let's dive right in and see what we got. All right, so today we're going to be taking a look at this shelf right here and the pops that are behind those pops. So like you guys know, I don't have a ton of space. So I do have to stack them behind other pops, which I'm okay with for the most part, but hopefully I do get enough space one day where I can spread everything out. So let's head over there and check it out. All right, so this is probably, you know, one of my favorite shelves on this bookshelf here. And we got some pretty good pops and we got a few other things as well, but let's go ahead and start looking at them. We got the Hot Topic Battle Damage Deku. Pretty fantastic looking pop. I did get that for retail. And we got the Masked Ochako for My Hero Academia as well. And I had to pay a little bit over retail for this, but I got it on eBay right after the, the con, so it wasn't totally expensive because a lot of people didn't really want to pick her up for whatever reason. And we got the Glow in the Dark All Might from My Hero Academia as well. And I got that for retail when that went up on the website last year as well. So also we got a few dorbs up here too. And this is Juzo from Tokyo Ghoul. And he's a pretty cool character. They never made a pop of him. Hopefully he'll be in a future wave. That'd be pretty nice. And we got the Chase Naruto Dorbs here. Pretty awesome. Along with the 3000 Piece Limited Sakura Dorbs. The Crunchyroll exclusive Naruto Dorbs. And I think this is the only Crunchyroll exclusive that's ever been made for Funko, which is pretty awesome. And then we also have the 3000 piece limited glow Ken Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul. Pretty cool pop. And underneath that we got a few minis. We got Khan and Ichigo here. Tony Tony Chopper with Luffy. Sasuke. And Sasuke is actually the only one that I bought outside of actual mystery boxes. Because I couldn't pull him and he was the last one I needed. And yeah. It didn't make any sense but to actually pick them up off of eBay. I, I paid like $4 for them, so it wasn't bad. We got Naruto here, and we got a Super Saiyan Goku that actually glows in the dark, and that's a pretty cool looking mini. I'll try to put a picture up for it. We got Piccolo, regular Goku, and Vegeta. So we're going to move some of these guys out the way so you can see what's behind there. And this is the exclusive Voltron metallic and that was from the anime expo in 2016 it's a pretty awesome pop I really like it. it's one of my favorites in my collection and moving on we got Rukia here from bleach and this is just a common pop and I believe she might be vaulted now I'm not too sure but definitely an awesome pop and because I know she's really going up in value recently and then we also have Hollow Ichigo that came out for Anime Day at GameStop. And that's a really awesome pop. And I really do enjoy that one. So we're going to have to move some of the stuff out of the way because I do have pops behind here as well. So let's go ahead and move a couple dwarves out. We'll move Ultron. And yeah, so as you guys could see back here we got a common tony tony chopper sideways because that's the only way he would fit in this shelf and we got the common voltron down there which is an awesome pop still like the metallic one better but we also have the common version of ichigo from bleach which is really cool so he looks pretty awesome especially you know you compare it to the the hollow form they could have did a lot better job with the hollow form but i still think it came out really well so we also got the normal exclusive of Elias from Ancient Mages Bride, which is a really good show if you guys never watched it. And speaking of good shows, we also have some Seraph of the End pops. And I don't think these pops did really well, but I did enjoy the show quite a bit. It's a pretty awesome show. So we got Ichiro here and Shinoa, and she's probably my favorite character from that show. And we do have the GameStop exclusive version of her and she has a scythe, which is really cool. And I also have the exclusive from Hot Topic Uchiro, which is the demon form, which is pretty awesome. So if you guys can see the comparison between the two there, it's pretty cool. 
definitely a cool looking pop and yeah i don't it, it's a really good show it's basically about vampires taking over and these guys are fighting the vampires so and the the main character ends up getting some demon abilities and then we also got a couple of sword art online pops here this is the hot top eight exclusive kirito he has two blue swords the common version he has a blue sword and a black sword definitely an awesome pop really do enjoy that one and then we got Mikaela here from Seraph of the End also and he is one of the main characters the story follows too which is also Yuchiro here's best friend so it, it, it's a little weird because he ends up being a vampire and Yuchiro is trying to kill vampires so it's pretty interesting and then we also got Farad Bathory which is kind of the bad guy and Sarah for the end so pretty cool looking pop though I definitely like it and I didn't really enjoy him that much as a bad guy but we also have here is Asuna from Sword Art Online which is a super awesome pop and this is pretty much how you guys see the shelf normally when you watch the videos so definitely really like this shelf actually who am I kidding all my shelves are actually my favorites but yeah it kind of sucks because you guys could see the extras back there but I don't really have enough room to have these minis displayed as well as have a second layer of pops behind those so that's why over here you, you get the sort of online ones because they're a little bit further up all right so i hope you guys enjoyed that and there might be a few questions you have but i'm gonna try to answer them right here before you load up the comment section below and i guess one of the first things i, I want to point out is yes i did mention buying these pops at retail quite a few times and you know i'm not above paying over retail for a pop like you know the ochako mask the voltron i had to buy those on ebay but i did buy them when they were first released so i didn't pay too much and you know there's nothing wrong with paying too much for a pop i guess you could say there's nothing wrong with paying more than retail for a pop if you really like it is i guess what i'm really trying to say here and you know if if it's you know, out of your price range, you know, don't extend yourself to that point to make it feel like you have to have it. You know, it, it'll be there in the future. Yeah, it might cost a little more later on and you never know, it might drop down some. So just keep your eye on it and hopefully you can get it for the right price. I'm pretty cheap, so I do like to get them for retail or as cheap as I can. And I guess that's really just my way of collecting and it, it kind of keeps, you know, my budget free as far as you know being able to pick up other things like if there is a pop that I want that costs 30 or 40 bucks that I don't have you know I'll have a little bit of extra money to be able to pick that up and speaking of way of collecting you guys did notice I have some dorbs up there and I've never been shy to say that I collect dorbs but at the same time I don't have a huge wall of them like you know jeff.com but if that's what you like to collect definitely go out there and collect them and you know enjoy them that's that's what it really is all about I'm not gonna start a movement here to discourage you from collecting a certain type of product you know so with that being said I hope you guys did enjoy this part of the collection and if you do have any other questions oh yeah there's one more thing they're, they're not in any sort of order because I, I had that question a few times before I kind of just put them I guess where I want them to be so there's not really an order to where I put the pops in my collection. And as always, everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video.